Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is Angle Relationships. I apologize, I'm going to go kind of fast because it's a long lesson. So it's just talking about pairs of angles and their relationships. It says use the fact about complementary and supplementary angles and adjacent angles to write and solve equations for unknown angles. So how do we use angle relationships, okay? So it's useful to work with a pair of angles to understand how pairs of angles relate to each other. So congruent angles are angles that are equal. They have the same measure, okay? So here it says use a ruler and draw two pairs of intersecting lines. Don't make them small lines. Make them pretty big, you guys. I would go at least at least three inches big, okay? Three inches long. So try to make this three inches and try to make this line three inches. And then label the angles one, two, three, four. And then we're going to need a protractor right here. So here's a protractor and we're going to find the measures of all of those angles right there. Sorry, I'm going fast, you guys. I'm telling you, it's just going to take a long time. So here we go. So I'm going to pull out my protractor right here. And here it is, uh, right there. Okay, so on the protractor, we have to uh, make sure that the vertex, which is this guy right here, where the angle uh, meets at the pointy right there, has to line up right here. Okay, and then this edge right here has to go along this edge right here. And protractors have two sets of numbers, the bottom number and then the top number. We always start wherever we see the zero and our angle starts okay so if i'm if i'm looking at oh, let's just uh, line this up real quick let's go ahead and put that vertex right there and then i'm going to twist it around so it goes around and it lines up right there okay All right about there okay so um notice um uh, let's see did i get that vertex on there let's line it up right there okay that's a little bit better okay notice um uh we're going out here so we're going to use this number right here so here's angle one so i'm using the bottom number so 10 20 30 40 fit all the way out to 120 right there okay now since i have this protractor in this position right here if i keep going i can get one and four together because it says what is four plus one so if i just go one plus four and just keep using those bottom numbers 1 plus 4 is 180 right there. I can get 4 a couple of ways. I can do 180 minus the 120. Or we can use the top numbers. Since we're looking out here, we always start at the 0 and use the top number. So we go out to 60 right here. Just make sure whatever your edge of your angle is that you use the 0 side. Okay, so, so angle 4 is 60 right there. Okay, all right. Now I'm just going to save time because, like I said, this lesson takes a long time. If we did angle 2, we'd get 60. Um, and if we did uh, angle 3, we'd get 120. 1 plus 2. In fact, you guys, straight lines always straight lines make 180 so these two this straight line makes these two angles right here and it also makes three and four down here that's 180 also okay um, and then we have this straight line right here one and four are 180 so are two and three okay so if we kept using the measuring on those we'd get those markings right there now depending on what yours are yours might be different because you didn't do you know the 120 and 60 so whatever yours are but what should what that should happen you guys is whatever your angle one is your angle three should be the same look one and three are both 120. Whatever your angle two was, it might not have been 60, it might have been something else, but whatever it was, angle four should have been the same. So six and four are also 60. And the two together will always add up to 180, okay? So uh, what did you notice about the angles that are opposite each other, okay? So these opposite angles, they were congruent. Two and four were both 60, one and three were both 120, so they were congruent. What did you notice about the angles that were next to each other? So those are called adjacent angles. We'll talk to in just about just a little bit. So these angles, they always add up to 180 because they made this line right here. These two angles right here, they add up to 180 because they make this line, okay? 2 and 3 makes the bottom line, the bottom half of the line, so 180, and then 3 and 4 makes up this line, 180. So those angles always added up to 180, the angles that were next to each other. Okay, so angle pairs and involving one step equation so vertical angles are the opposite angles like one and three and then two and four they were the opposite angles formed by intersecting lines vertical angles are always congruent 
uh, when, and they always have the same measure. Adjacent angles are angles that share a vertex on one side, but they don't overlap. One, one angle does not over, uh, cro cross over another angle. They don't overlap each other. It, they're next to each other. They're angles that are next to each other that share a side and a vertex. Okay, we'll talk more about that in a second. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90. Okay, supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180, okay? So we discovered in that last activity that adjacent angles that formed uh, by intersecting lines ended, ended up being 180, so that meant they were supplementary, okay? All right, so that's a, there's all kinds of things I can say about these. these. These angles, one and three were vertical angles, two and four were vertical angles. That's what that says right there, okay? And then adjacent angles, one and four were adjacent angles, and they're supplementary. One and four made this straight line right here, so they were adjacent angles. I said one more pair, but there's uh, four pairs of adjacent supplementary angles. And then one and two were also uh, adjacent and supplementary angles because they made up this angle. Now, 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 angles that are adjacent are not always supplementary because they don't always make a straight line. Sometimes they make a right angle, so they'd be complementary because right angles are 90 and two angles that add up to 90 are complementary. All right, so here it says name a pair of vertical angles. Vertical angles are formed by intersecting lines, okay? Opposite angles formed by intersecting lines. So the only two lines I see are this line and this line right here. So I can't include this angle because I don't have the other side of this part right here, okay? But I can talk about this angle and this angle. So I'll say angle BFA. I might have said AFB. I don't know. But you, got, you can't say angle F because there's all kinds of angles at angle F. So you have to use three letters and make sure F is in the middle. So BFA or AFB is vertical angle with this angle over here. So I would say DFE or you can say EFD. I don't know which way I said it right there. AFB and DFE. They're vertical angles. Okay, adjacent angles are just angles that are next to each other. There's all kinds of adjacent angles. This angle and this angle, they're next to each other, so they're adjacent. This X and this 50 are adjacent. This 50 and this 90 are adjacent. This 90 and this little angle right here adjacent. Any angles that are next to each other, as long as they don't overlap. So what did I say? I said um, A, F, B, and B, F, D. So here's A, F, B, and B, F, D. So, so um, those were adjacent angles because they share this side right here. Okay, and they share that vertex right there. So this angle and then the 50 plus 90 right there, that, that is adjacent with this X right here, okay? All right, name a pair of supplementary angles, okay? Angles that make a straight line. I just use those same angles because they made this straight line right here. In fact, I'll, I'll highlight that in red here, okay? So they made this straight line right here, okay? This angle... So pretend like uh, that C is not there. Just kind of overlook that C and look at those two red guys right there. Okay, so so this angle right here and this angle make up this straight line right there. So you can, I gotta say three letters. Make sure F is in the middle because that's talking about our vertex. So A F B and then B F D are a pair of supplementary angles because they make up that straight line. All right, so this one says, uh, name a pair of, I'm on number four, name a pair of supplementary angles that include angle D, F, E. Okay, so D, F, E is this one. Let's get rid of those red guys that I just did right there, okay? And let's focus on uh, angle D, F, E, this angle, okay? So I want to form a straight line with this angle right here, D, F, E. There's two straight lines that bounce off of that. I can say this straight line right here, okay? So that would be supplementary, so that would be this angle right here. You can say A, F, E or E, F, A. Just make sure F is in the middle. And then uh, if we talked about this uh, line right here, Okay, this line, it makes a straight line with this red angle right here. So D, F, E, and then D, F, B, something like that. Okay, so angles that form a line with D, F, E, that is supplementary to angle to D, F, E. So D, F, E, and E, F, A. So D, F, E, and E, F, A. D, F, E, 
and EFA makes up this line right here. And then DFE and DFB. So here's DFE and then E, uh, no, and then DFB. Okay, so this angle and then this angle makes up this line. Okay. Hopes that makes sense. Okay, so let's find the measure of angle AFB. AFB is where the X is. AFB is that X. So I'm going to use the fact that this is a straight line right here, and that's 180. Okay, now I already know that this angle right here is 50, and this angle is 90. So X plus 50 and 90 will make up the whole straight line of 180. So I'm going to say this angle, which is AFB, plus this angle, BFD, which is 140, 50, and 90, um, that will give us um, uh, the straight line right there, okay? So let's put in the 140 right there and subtract off 140, and so what we're looking for is 40 degrees right there, okay? So now we know that's 40. Now, what about these angles? There's another way to do this too, you guys. Look at this straight line right there. If that's a straight line, this I think this way is easier. Your book overlooked this part, but if this is a straight line, if this side's 90, so is this side. There's a right angle over here. So 50 plus 40 must get me that 90. So that's another way to get 90 or 40 right there. Okay. What do you talk about these kind of angles that add up to 90 right there? They're called complementary. So I think that's coming up next. Yeah, what's well, the relationship between AFB and B, uh, FC? Well, those are the 40 and 50. They add up to 90, so they're, they're complementary angles. Okay, complementary angles mean they add up to 90. Are AFC and BFC adjacent angles? Here, let's go. Uh, here's AFC and BFC. Can you see AFC engulfs the angle BFC? So they're not adjacent angles because they overlap from each other, okay? They do share a vertex and they do share a side, but they don't but they overlap. So they're next to each other angles that are touching each other, but they're but they're not overlapping from each other or what what's called adjacent angles. Okay. So name a pair of supplementary angles. There's all kinds of supplementary angles in here. I can say this angle and this side over here gets me the straight line. I can say this angle and this side over here is a straight line. There's whichever pair. I forgot which pair I chose. I chose uh, F, G, A. So here's F, G, A, and then A, G, C makes up this line right there. So they're supplementary. Name a pair of vertical angles. Okay, vertical angles are angles that are uh, formed by intersecting lines. So I can say this angle and this angle. I can say this angle and this angle, or this angle and this angle. I don't like these kind of questions on a test because there's too many correct answers, and it just takes longer for me to grade them. So, anyways, um, uh, but there's so there's a lot of correct answers on this. I forgot which uh, one I chose, so I chose FGE. So that's this 35 FGE, and then BGC is the other side over there. So this angle and this angle are vertical angles. Name a pair of adjacent angles. They're just next to each other angles, so they share a side and a vertex. So FGD, and they don't overlap. FGD, and then I chose. Uh, D, G, C, okay, so this angle, these two guys together, and this angle are adjacent angles. I could have said this angle and this angle, or this angle and this angle, or this angle and this angle. They're just adjacent angles or angles that are next to each other. Name a pair of complementary angles. Okay, so we know that they add up to 90 right there. All right, I forgot which one I did, but since I have this line and this line making this right angle, I got a right angle right there, there's a right angle right there, a right angle right there, a right angle right here. These two guys together, there's four right angles. So I probably chose these two guys right here, I think, I don't know, is that what I did? B, G, C. Uh, no, I didn't. Hmm. Okay, I chose the bottom one. So B, G, C, and then C, G, D. These two angles are complementary right there, okay? All right, find the measure of angle uh, G, I'm sorry, C, G, D. Sorry, I'm looking at this right here. So my dyslexia, so <laughs> number of the letters get kind of buffled around. So C, G, D. So find C, G, D. Okay, now, I don't know how I did this right here, but I do know this. If this is 35, this is 35, and this is the complement of 35, something like that. 
Yeah, so the complement means they add up to 90, so 90 minus 35. Okay, again, I did this. If this is 35, it's a vertical angle with this angle, so this is 35. And since these two angles add up to 90, I did 90 minus this 35, and that'll get us this angle right here, which is 55 degrees. Okay, so angle pairs on two-step equations. So two-step equations means there's more than one step. Okay, all right, so these angles add up to 180 because they make a straight line. Okay, so straight lines always add up to 180, so subtract 48, and we get 132, and then divide by, by 2, and we get uh, x equals 66. So um, it says uh, uh, find the measure of angle. X is usually not the answers on these two-step equations. It says find EHF, so EHF is... 2x, so we got to multiply that by 2, okay, and we get um, uh, 2 times 66, which is 132. Okay, we could have stopped right here because we're looking for 2x right there. That's so that's our answer. EHF is what 2x is. So we could have stopped right there at uh, that right there. Okay, find the measure of angle ZXY. Okay, so here's ZXY. So I know that these two angles add up to the 90, so they're complementary. So let's go ahead and Add them up to be 90 and solve for x. Okay, combine 35 and 7, subtract 42, get 48, and 4 goes into 48 12 times. Now 12, x is not the answer, so we've got to plug it right into this guy because it's asking us to find zxy, which is zxy is 4x plus 7. So we've got to plug in 12 right there next to the 4, okay? So um, 4 times 12 is 48, plus 7 is 55, 55 degrees, okay? We could have done another way, you guys. It wouldn't, might have been even easier to just do the complement. We didn't have to do all this X stuff right there. If this is 35, this is 55, because we know they add up to that right angle right there, that 90 degrees. Those dirty rotten tricksters. All right, here we go. So um, uh, find JML. Okay, so JML is this guy. So this angle and this angle adds up to the straight line of 180. Subtract off, and we get uh, uh, 126 right there. So to find X, you divide by 3, and you get 42. So remember, 3X is our answer. We could have stopped up there at 3X and left it at 126 right there. Okay, so here Corey says that to find the measure of angle JML above, we can stop when we got to the solution 3x equals 126. Why is that uh, true? Well, JML is equal to that 3x, and so which is what we were looking for. So we didn't need to find x, we just need to find 3x. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense. Sorry about the length of that, and take care.